uh, show you a little bit. First, the plus is a disadvantage. Um, counter plan negotiation. Um, advantage too. It is over. Um, before starting my speech, I show uh, some tool. Uh, first, the debaters and coaches. Thank you for coming today. Um, last year, I participated in this tour. And I went to the United States as a, uh, to a, um, as a representative of Japan. And I know this tour is very hard, hard for you. And I, I, also, uh, I was also so exhausted. But I still I believe that this tour is so valuable that I can improve, I can improve myself as a debater. Um, next year, you or audiences would be, I hope you, audiences could be the participants of this tour and go to the United States and import some value from the United States. Okay, so to prove the value of this tour, I start with this. Okay, this advantage. Then on this point, the hesitation is that anyway, what kind of type of security is this or concrete impact is not unclear, is unclear. And that's why this the disadvantage should not be brought up also. However, my first three, first three I want to say, this admin rather support or admin said that people, we cannot know what the security is. That's why we should cooperate with the United States to cooperate or tackle, tackle with this um, risk. To close of life, our disadvantage is the first element indicating. This evidence clearly says that six, such danger, danger changes day by day. For example, before 9-1-1, terrorism is not so big threat, but after 9-1-1, of course, terrorism becomes a such, uh, huge, huge threat. Like this, of course, we cannot know who is enemy in the future, right? Therefore, in that sense, we should cooperate as long as such security risk exists. We should cooperate with the United States that is super of the, of the world. Please keep it. At least, at least I should create an example of security risk. So one of the examples is Chinese invasion. Actually, she has a motivation to invade Senka to turn Senka Island to get profit. According to the Japanese politics, those from there are there are some historical evidence that China found the Senkaku Island were territory in Japan. However, Chinese authorities ships have made a Japanese territory ship around Senkaku Island recently. The Chinese proposal is to deny the fact that Japan control in Senkaku Island. If their invasion of the territory waters still piled up, welcome of Japanese rights will be called in question. China started to insist the domination, domination of Senkaku Island since underground resources were found at Tampo. Therefore, uh, one of the, this China's risk is one of the security risks of Japan. Mile two. In action, today, security system in Japan is based on Japan US security treaty. One of the examples is missile attack of Japan, missile attacking system. Excel defense ground for general national terror. It is wondered that SLA could use such great power in the emergency of national defense. The reason is today this reserve lacks capacity of functioning operation and the amount of military power. Broken from missile surely needs the ability which can attack enemy's bases to settle down missile attack by enemy. However, we do not have it all, so all of that depends on the United States and about the information launching the Rambo. Therefore, I want to say, Japan, the SLF only cannot tackle with many security, including missile attack or Chinese invasion, and that's why cooperating with the United States is essential to protect Japan from security risks, please keep it. Um, the, um, so, plan action includes such drastic change that which can change the uh, basis of national security, and that's why they have the duty to explain, need, 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 duty to explain, need for change, and uh, proper measure to tackle with this problem, please give it. As long as they fail to prove this point, of course, you should not take both the family, please give it. This is my macro sample on the Then, on the ground. Then, in case you think that you find security plan or advantage, I saw the plan on the ground proposal. Then, if you think such is, uh, there is a security plan and advantage, then, not terminate JSC. Uh, what I want to say is, terminate the JSC now is too early. That is so risky. That. That's good, it's a counter plan of uh, mandate indicating. If advantage is significant, it exists. Of course, we can, we, can, uh, we can solve this problem as a negotiation or such as a major issue. And that's why they have the duty to explain the need for change. Now, please give it. But the only point, the allocation is only one. The allocation, uh, mainly the allocation is uh, basic, first allocation is uh, basic existence. Uh, as long as basic exists, uh, such tension of the, between Japan and Asian countries exists, close to advantage too. Or, uh, if, if after that base will be disappeared, disarmament of um, disarmament of whole Asia will occur. Then this is a uh, stupid idea of uh, affirmative plan, I think. But on this point, uh, maybe I understand that such risk tension over in Asia will decrease after plan. So still they fail to prove. In case of emergency, how to deal with this problem is unclear. But because even if such risk will decrease, uh, as long as we, our security risk, uh, security system will disappear, of course we cannot deal with this emergency. That's why this plan action is too risky, even at this point, please give it. Then, they say, we cannot capture advantage one or two or something. 
台湾的三年目的を交う前にネゴシエーションを交う確かにいいですし、いいですし、can change on if the negotiation happens. That's why they have, to, they have to prove there is no room for negotiation. But upon negative side, suppose that there is a room for negotiation. That's why plan action is too early. Please give me. Then I'm going to And, uh, sorry, then I summarize this day. As I said on this abandoned process, since abandoned plan includes such drastic change which can shorten the basis of national security, of course they have, the, they have the duty to explain enough reason for change that it advantage one or two, and the appropriate measure to, to tackle with this problem. But both of them, they, they have, both of them are not shown on this round. Therefore, you should go for anything. Then, as for the reasonable change, it's related to advantage one or two. Then my person will be referred to later in, de in detail with this method. Therefore, you should go for anything. This is my proposal. Okay, may I ask? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so first I want to talk about the disadvantage. Yeah. So you basically say at the top that we can't know what type of threat is out there. So would you cooperate at all costs with the United States to avoid such a vague threat? Yeah, uh, for, uh, no. of course we cannot show that this United States we can, cooper, uh, we can tackle this whole problem. But still, look at, uh, first, for example, look at our last evidence. This guy said, in, the, in case of missile attack, we can prepare and cooperate with the United States. Um, okay. To some extent, I found the value of cooperation with the United States. Sure. So I guess my next question is, in relation to the disadvantage and the counterplan, what is the tipping point? How many soldiers do you have to remove? How much money of host station support do you have to remove before Japan is vulnerable to attack? Is it only at the point where they terminate the treaty altogether that they're vulnerable to the attack? Or if there was a 50% reduction, would they still be vulnerable? So I, I, because I can explain. So let's say that the counterplan works, and you renegotiate to remove 75% of US troops. Hmm. Would at that point Japan be vulnerable to an attack? Like, what is the brink as to where Japan is vulnerable? Is it only when we get rid of the security treaty altogether? So could you remove 99% of troops and 99% of host nation support and still be safe? Mm. Oh, uh, wait, uh, you want you worry about the counterbalance, uh, the counterbalance situation? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I think that by this. Uh, Plan action is too risky, but counter plan is careful policy compared with plan action. Even if such 99% is there is a risk that 99% of soldiers will disappear from Japan, because we can negotiate this situation still. And that's why the first step must be negotiation. I just want to make sure that you didn't get to advantage about Okinawa. You said mm -hmm. that your partner will take care of that? Is that right? You had just summarized the counter plan mm -hmm. at the bottom? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, excellent. So then I'll continue questioning about the counter plan. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Thanks.